Gibson had amassed enormous wealth by the early 2000s. He wanted to buy himself something absolutely lavish, deserving of his movie star status. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover Mel Gibson's $15 million Fiji Mago Island. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Mel Colum Kyle Jared Gibson is an actor, film director, producer, and screenwriter from the United States. He is most recognized for his action hero roles, most notably as Mac Rokotansky in the first three Mad Max films, and as Martin Riggs in the buddy cop film series, Lethal Weapon. Gibson was born in Peaksill, New York, and relocated to Sydney, Australia with his parents when he was 12 years old. He studied acting at the National Institute of Dramatic Art, where he appeared in a Romeo and Juliet performance alongside Judy Davis. In the 1980s, he formed Icon Entertainment, a production business that has been described as an alternative to the studio system by independent film director Atom Egoyen. Gibson was cast as one of the leads in director Peter Ware's World War I drama Gallipoli in 1981, which earned him an Australian Film Institute Best Actor Award as well as a reputation as a serious, versatile actor. Gibson's public image collapsed after many legal difficulties and inflammatory utterances were made public, damaging his acting and directing careers. With his performance in Jodie Foster's The Beaver in 2011 and his directorial return after a 10-year hiatus, Hacksaw Ridge in 2016, he resurrected his career, winning two Academy Awards and being nominated for four more, including Best Picture and Best Director for Gibson his second nomination in the category. Gibson appeared to be on his way to become one of the all-time great superstars, even though he has struggled publicly in the past, and these days he is generally out of the spotlight. Gibson was one of the most famous people in the world in 2005 because of the success of his film The Passion of the Christ. Gibson decided to put some of his money to work by putting down some serious cash. Gibson bought the island of Mago, one of the world's largest private islands, in that year, according to People. Mago Island is a volcanic island in Fiji's northern Leu group of islands, located in the northwest sector. The Virgin Island is 22 square kilometers in size, or about 8.5 square miles, and is one of the largest private islands in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. Mel Gibson, the actor and director, owns the island. Mago is 166 statute miles east-northeast of Suva, Fiji's capital, and 14 statute miles southwest of Namalata, Fiji's smallest island. It's close to Vanua, Balavu, where descendants of the original Mago people still live. Mago Island is still underdeveloped, with only a few caretakers of Indo-Fijian ethnicity living there. A cotton plantation created by the Australian Ryder Brothers flourished there in the 1860s. On the island in 1884, there was a well-established sugarcane plantation as well as a sugar mill. The mill closed in 1895 and its components were removed and utilised to expand the Pengnang Mill in Ra. The Boron family took over as the rider's successors. Mel Gibson has paid $15 million for a Pacific Island hideaway in northern Fiji. According to an official and press reports, the transaction is being challenged in court by people who allege their ancestors were pushed off the island. Gibson's purchase has been met with opposition by descendants of Mago's original native residents, who were ousted in the 1860s. Any judicial challenge to the transaction is unlikely now that Gibson is the legal owner, but a landless clan of indigenous Fijians claim their ancestors were forcibly removed from the island in the 19th century and want it returned. According to the Fiji Times, 500 tribespeople are raising funds to oppose the sale in court. A dirt airstrip of 1,100 meters is visible on satellite photographs from 2008 of the islands. There is no harbour on the island, although there is a small stone pier on the north side. On the island, there is only one loosely organised village that has the look of a resort. Agriculture is limited to a few small plots of land. A narrative of a calamity on the island was featured in an episode of the NBC sitcom 30 Rock, titled Operation Righteous Cowboy Lightning, Season 5, Episode 12. Alec Baldwin's Jack Donaghy chooses to broadcast a pre-recorded telethon to help the disaster victims. Donaghy is taken aback when he learns Mel Gibson and his guest, John Gosselin, are the only victims of the accident. Although it is unclear how much time Gibson spends on the island these days, it appears that he still owns the island in the South Pacific. The actor may decide to offer it up for tours or visits at some point in the future 
but for now, it is only for private use. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.